At the time of recording, this AI art platform is free. It's uh, pretty easy to use and you get some pretty decent results. It's called Blue Willow AI. So today I'm going to walk you through how you can get started with Blue Willow AI and exactly what you can achieve using this platform. To get started, head to bluewillow.ai and you'll see the page here of the homepage. Click on join the beta and you'll be taken to Discord where you can actually accept their invite or if you don't have a Discord account, you can sign up and then get taken to their server to get started. Once you land, you get a page like this showing you how to use the platform. So finding a rookie channel and then typing slash imagine to get your results. Now remember if you have the Discord app on your phone, you can also use your phone. But what I wanna do is head down the left here, scroll all the way down till I find a rookie channel. We'll say rookie 10. You can be in here with everyone else doing the same thing. Now what's really cool about Blue Willow at the moment is it's actually really fast. If I type in slash imagine, just like we would in Mid Journey. I can now type in my prompt. So I can say a monkey wearing a hat. Or a robot monkey wearing a hat. So now we have our four options here. And if you get caught up in the stream, you're just gonna have to scroll up and down until you find your username and your prompt. But I can choose one of these to upscale. So I'm gonna choose number four and hit upscale. And you can also choose variations to create variations, or you can click this to re-roll and get four more results. So I'll click on that as well. And I'll also click on variations of number four. So you see now we have our variations and things have gone down a bit of a different route. So I'm going to upscale this one again with the sort, which I think is pretty cool. And then I've also got here the re-roll, which shows a few other different options. So once again, I'm going to upscale number four. Number four seems to be the best on all of these. And we're going to check out these results in a minute. So you see the first one has been created. If I click on this, I get a full view or I can open in browser and I get the full image. So I've got this one here, which doesn't look too bad. It has a few artifacts, but it is very clean. Most of these designs have a very clean feel to them and it's really cool. But what's also good is the resolution. These images are actually 2048 by 2048 pixels. Whereas say in mid journey, most images are 1024 by 1024 pixels, unless you're using say the test algorithms. And even with the old version three max upscale that you used to be able to use then, uh, they still weren't quite that big. So you do get a higher resolution with this free AI art platform, Blue Willow, and I think some pretty decent results. But if we do want to get better results, we don't just want to type in something pretty raw like that. So let's try a robot robot monkey wearing a hat, but we're gonna add some descriptors to it. Let's make it dramatic lighting, cinematic. And let's also make it say a realistic 3D render. And we can also say in the mountains of nature, dark, stormy, gritty, high detail. The more descriptive we get, the better our results will be. So let's punch that in. So the results are a bit better, but probably not exactly what we typed, but we did get the mountains and probably a bit better lighting. It looks a little bit sharper. So you sort of get the idea of what's possible. But what we can also do is type in other styles. So if I said the same thing again, so we can say robot monkey I can type in cyberpunk style. And maybe says 3D render, I say photorealism, storm, and I say blues, pinks, purples, glowing lights. And now we've got some different results again. So you can see how by adding in descriptive words, we can start to steer this model where we want it to go. And for free, I think this is actually, this is a really, really cool uh, setup. But there are also some custom codes, not as many as you would get on other platforms, but this platform is a month old. Uh, at the moment, we can add an aspect ratio of two to three or three to two, or we can add negative words. So we're gonna try something different and type in imagine the same cyberpunk prompt as before and type dash dash no. But instead of the purples, I'm going to say remove pinks and purples and say no pinks and see what kind of results we get that way. And now you'll notice it's got the blues and it hasn't got the pinks. And Cyberpunk tends to sort of put a bit of pink and purple in there as well. But it has allowed us to use a negative word to tape, make sure there's something missing from the prompt. It doesn't work every single time. 
but it's worth playing with. The next one is the aspect ratio. So now I'm just going to type in something simple like a cyberpunk city dash dash AR for aspect ratio. And I can go three to two or two to three. And the idea is it'd be three three units wide by two units tall, or I can do the reverse and have a taller image. But for now, we're just going to go with three to two. And now check out these results. See how it's no longer a square image, but it's three units wide by two units tall. So let's upscale these and have a look and see what kind of resolution we get out of them. And take a look at those images. So now you can see the kind of sort of composition and detail you get and the image resolution is actually even higher now that we've increased that aspect ratio the image resolution has jumped up to 3072 by 2048. now there's so many styles and elements you can add to your prompts things like street art like i said before we've got 3d we can also do things like basic sort of logo concepts web design concepts and even get pictures of celebrities on here and uh, it does a pretty good job of replicating that imagery you may be wondering what platforms that this uses. It doesn't use Midjourney, but it does use Stable Diffusion and actually picks the best model to run when you enter your prompts. Second is you're wondering if you can use this commercially. Straight from their uh, frequently asked questions, you can use this for commercial gain uh, according to their guidelines. And finally, not everything is private right now, but they are working on it. So there is some information here. This is under the frequently asked questions in the Discord server. They are working on it. You can apply and uh, talk to them about going private in the future. Now, one more feature I do want to cover is you can upload images to this as well. So I'm going to take some artwork of mine and I'm going to use post image. I'll put a link to this in the description and uh, I'm going to upload one of my own images. So I have this TIE fighter image I drew a few years ago. I'm going to upload that to post image. And now I can go down here to my direct link, copy that link. I'm going to head back to Blue Willow, type in imagine paste that link in there. I'm going to say Muay Thai Fighter Muscle. Hit enter. So you can see the results I've got here. I've got a Muay Thai Fighter. He's actually even standing in the pose of the image I uploaded. So some of these are a bit odd where we've got three hands. That's just AI for you. <laughs> but some of these are actually pretty cohesive. I think so far number two looks the best. So I'll upscale number two and take a look at that. And you can see, while it's not completely photorealistic, it's actually pretty good, but uh, a few little elements looking funny there, but compared to the original, the pose is right and it looks pretty spot on. Now, if you wanna check this out for yourself, head to bluewillow.ai, like I said at the start of the video, and just experiment, have some fun. I've been just throwing all sorts of images at it, haven't paid a dime, it's free. So check that out and have a bit of fun with it. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider giving it a like and I hope to see you again next time. Have a great day.